And this, of course, is a perfect segue to our next sport, parasurfing. The World Parasurfing Championship is happening right now in Huntington Beach. And joining me now is the co-founder of Access Tracks, Kelly Twitchell, a company focused on giving people with disabilities access to outdoor activities. And we also have four-time world champ in parasurfing, Victoria herself. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining me. Thank you for having us. We're so excited. You know, I want to kind of start with this because it's, Right, it, it's, it's right in front of our faces. We know it's here, we can't ignore it. So tell me what this is, and this is what has helped Victoria um, focus more on surfing. Absolutely, yeah, so this is the Access Tracks Portable Access Pathway. I'm an occupational therapist and was inspired by adaptive surfers like Victoria in 2016 to co-invent this mat system. Mm -hmm. So I'll demonstrate how it works, yeah. but what it does is it provides the athletes the stability on a terrain like sand mm -hmm. to be able to traverse that easily. So if you have a wheelchair or other device, Do you, want my help? you simply unfold. Now oh, it's, it's super easy. easy. <laughs> yep. So they just accordion unfold onto the sand in seconds and it provides that stable pathway for all of the athletes. That is so great. What has the feedback been like for both of you? I mean, Victoria, what, what's it like for you to know, hey, you can continue, you have easier access, you get to continue to focus on what you love to do. Oh, it changes the game. Mm -hmm. I love surfing. I love spending my energy surfing, and I'm good on the land, and I'm good in the water, but it's difficult getting over the sand. So mm -hmm. the access tracks quite literally helps me spend more of my energy focusing on training and performance and hopefully going for that five-time world title. Ooh, I love that. We're putting that out in the energy, out in the world. You know, we want good vibes, good energy. Um, let's talk about the um, advocating part of this for you. So how is that playing into your day-to-day? Why is it so important for both of you? Well, I grew up skiing and snowboarding, and when I got a spinal cord injury, I never knew I could surf again, and I mm. never knew I could surf at a high level, and it was until years and years later that I met the adaptive surfing community and became part of the ISA Surfing for Team Canada, but also surfing internationally on our world tour. I think if other people knew that parasurfing is an option for them with a disability of any type, um, limb loss or spinal cord injury or vision impairment, I think more people would get involved and experience the freedom and the empowerment of being in the ocean. I feel like a lot of people I've talked to who are in this position, they mentally can't get out of this, this mode of I can't do it. So how are you able to do that? And what's your advice for people who might be in the same position trying to break out of that, that box? I think if you come meet us, because it's nothing like seeing it done in person. It wasn't until I met the other adaptive surfers and saw people getting barreled, doing snaps, surfing at a high level. Mm -hmm. And when you're new, yes, you're gonna surf in the whitewash and begin, but you could, so much more is possible when you do it together. So if you come meet us, myself, if anyone wants to reach out on Instagram or email, I'm happy to help new adaptive surfers, female or male, mm -hmm. and help uplift the movement because we are really pushing towards the Paralympics for 2028. Ooh, I love this. Okay, so the event happening right now, right? Huntington Beach. Yep, just um, south of the pier, yep. Perfect, it's a lovely area out there too, so we're gonna put all this information on the website and we're gonna let people know where they can go and find you guys. And thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. And this is amazing. Great thank job. Thank you. Yeah, just trying to make the outdoors and recreation more accessible for everyone. And I'm really thankful for the support of being here to share that story and also the support of J.P. Morgan Chase. This is great. Well, thank you both so much. I really appreciate it. And yeah, we're going to put this up on our website, kcalnews.com slash the morning wrap.